What is good? Daily Xander number 84. I'm looking like I just left off from the previous Daily Xander, but I kid you not, I'm about almost 24 hours later than when I took that video. Just uh, rocking the same two layers being uh, a pullover and uh, a hoodie. But it is about 12.20 in the morning. Just leaving Starbucks right now. Uh, finishing up writing a couple of workouts for later today, I should say, for some clients. Uh, filling out another uh, part-time job application. And uh, just kind of taking care of some other stuff on top of that. Good solid day at work. Able to do four, four sessions. I uh, so I did about four of my own training sessions with four individual clients. And then also on top of that, um, assisting around the gym with other clients. So busy day for me. Um, so that's pretty much just it. A working day, which uh, I, do, I, I do like uh, just kind of bouncing from one thing to the next. No downtime whatsoever, so staying busy. Literally from 9 all the way to 6 o'clock. And then coming back and uh, taking care of some other things. And just being productive. And uh, yeah, there's definitely uh, a lot to be said about how one values time and uh, urgency. And definitely even just looking around, you can tell by how somebody carries themselves when it comes to being average, being above average, and then being somebody that's a high performer. And uh, that's something I would like to strive for. I would say I'm not anywhere near that level, but that would be a goal of mine, to be a high performer, and I would definitely need to shape different things about my abilities and how I go and how I carry myself in order to, for that to happen and sacrifice of course but yes um, just uh, just small things you can notice uh, observing people and I'm not this is no in no way um, hating or dissing on uh, people but just uh, observation wise as far as how what, what kind of topics people talk about and where they put their time so going kind of back to we all have the same amount of time in a day and it's what we do in that time that um, that has actions that produce uh, results so, for instance, uh, kind of talking about like TV shows or kind of like pop culture stuff, uh, topics wise. Um, I mean, it's definitely just uh, those kind of interests. Um, they are entertainment, yes, but um, if. I guess if you if you find yourself as one that's complaining about you want more, whether it be um, be more successful in like business or other aspects in life, and uh, yet you devote a good portion of your time towards things that really don't produce value <clears throat> and it all kind of stems with valuing your time and taking other people's time into account and who you are surrounding yourself with and where you're devoting your time towards other people or these other people going to help you towards where you want to go. I really like to say 
you are the average, and this is what I've heard um, from listening to other speakers, you are the average of the five closest uh, human beings you spent the most time with um, growing up. I don't know if this is an actual proven uh, psychological thing, but I, I can't remember. But by like, I, I remember hearing something, but this is coming from a, more of a performance coach. I hear he quoted saying, or I quote him saying something along the lines of, by age seven or eight, kids will have either developed a high level of self-esteem or will not have a high level of self-esteem by that age. And it's almost like a predictor by that age. You can just say like, yep, he is or he's not, or she is or she's not. Kind of thing. I don't know if that's the case, but kind of going back to uh, when you're a young age and the five individuals, primarily being your parents and other family members most likely are gonna have a huge impact on what you become, how you go about doing certain activities, going about certain situations, and also your friends. You show me your friends, I'll show you your future kind of thing. I think uh, I'm a big believer in that. If you wanna goal-wise, and I know I said I'm a big believer, but I don't feel like I don't really do it at all. Although, yeah, I mean, I should say, I, I mean, I definitely surround myself among positive people. I don't really hang around too much negativity. I don't hang around people for the most part that I'm not going to get some form of value or benefit from. And I don't mean I, I don't mean to say like I use people. I don't definitely don't use people, but um, I just like to put myself in situations where I can. Uh, get value from, positive value. But yeah, going back to, I don't don't really, I know I say these things, but I feel like a lot of times, like I don't really follow up on the action. And it's just amazing. In life, there's so many, uh, so many different things. You could focus your time, your energy, your resources, uh, your mental, cognitive, RAM, as I like to call it, that you have. So kind of making that analogy or comparison that you only have so much space, such as like what a computer has, and your brain has the same thing. You can only have so much space to take in information and then um, regurgitate that information or use it up on other things. But anyways, I'm going to cut it off there for my daily Xander number 84 daily thought walk back to the apartment well, number 130 this has been a solid going on almost nine minutes of a thought rant and yeah quick update for this weekend i'm gonna go golfing whether it be a full round probably not it'll be more of a driving range session and we're gonna really work on my chipping game as was last week when i played 18 holes i struggled to get the ball up in the air I kept topping it, so I just hit line drives, and a lot of times I just hit it and it actually would, would just kind of roll on the ground. So uh, that's one club I need to work on is my pitching wedge, being able to chip, chip the ball. And then also, potentially, I'm most likely it will happen on Sunday, I'm going to a Scottish Highland Games with a friend and another friend and maybe some other peeps. Um, so I'll definitely get some footage of that if I do go. Other than that, it's supposed to be good weather on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm definitely going to be soaking up the sun, uh, maintaining that blonde hair, uh, getting some solid vitamin D, and also, it's super moon right now, but, or not super moon, it's a whole, it's a full moon, it's a full moon tonight, and I say that and I can't even see the moon where I'm at. You can see the stars or whatever, at least I can, I don't know if you can really see that footage, but Maybe tomorrow, nah, I won't have space on my phone. I was going to say I could show you the moon tomorrow morning, but I won't have space on my phone. Anyways, it's been the Daily Xander number 84. Pleasure as always. Peace, love, unity, and respect. Keep it pithy. My fellow 
primate human brothers. Peace.